Good morning. How you guys doing? This Mike. Back with the thought of the day, July 1st, 2023. First, I want to give honor and praise to a higher, sure, higher for waking me up today, giving me the strength and the wisdom to bring you this message. Then I like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It said July, the last day in July. Today we want to talk about, I want to answer a question that a lot of people ask me sometimes. Why, why didn't I ever have children on my own? Why I didn't have children on my own? There's several factors that played into this. Um, first of all, I always like to be transparent and honest about my travels so they can help other people. Um, first thing off, I have to say that I was very selfish and self-centered. Um, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to travel where I wanted to travel and do what I wanted to do when I didn't want any person or anything to come into my way of doing what I wanted to do. Um, once I got addicted to alcohol in college and addicted to the party life, um, I felt that was the way and I thought life was a big party and I really didn't want, a, uh, I knew if I had a relationship and I had a kid that that person that I was with could always say, well, the kid has to, you got to be here with the kid. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I was so selfish that I never wanted that to be, to feel like that, that was holding me back from going where I wanted to go and do what I wanted to do. So, of course, that played a factor. Um, like I said, my addiction played a factor. Being addicted to alcohol and being addicted to partying and fornication and things of that nature. Um, so, I was blinded by that. And that was a distraction. Next, I never wanted a baby mom. Um, I saw that so much in my community. Um, I remember I... When I first was working at school base as a counselor, one of the security guards showed me his check, and he showed me how much money child support was taken out. And I, it hit my gut. Like, I never wanted to experience that. I never wanted to feel like somebody had control over my money or control over me, and they could manipulate me and do what they wanted to do. Um, I'm not good in those kind of circumstances, so it always was a fear of having a baby mom. Like, I never wanted to do that. And when I got married, it turned back into me being selfish and self-centered. Was I still going to be attracted to my wife after she had a kid? Um, things of that nature. Would she pick up weight? And I know that's selfish and, and crazy, but I'm just an honest person at this point in my life. That's how I was thinking. And I didn't want anybody to be able to hold me back next came up was the fears um the fear of fatherhood i haven't i hadn't experienced my father wasn't there in my life and it was a fear of could i really do it and would i be good at it and um could i handle the responsibilities of that um it was a fear that i couldn't do it and i was the type of person if i had those kind of fears i just wouldn't do it instead of having faith and going out, taking a chance to actually do it. Um, but those fears was there. And I'm a man man enough to admit that I had that fear. Um, now, on the flip side of this thing, um, me, since college, I dedicated my life on helping other kids. Um, at school-based youth service, I was a counselor. I was a teacher for 15, 16 years. And I ran basketball spotlight for almost 20 years. So throughout my life, I helped thousands of kids in various ways achieve their goals. And could I have done that if I had my own kids? I don't know if I would have been able to put that much focus into all of those kids. And you see the fruits of your labor. The most high allowed me in the seeing the fruits of my labor. I'm saying a lot of the kids reaching their goals in life, some in the NBA, some in college, some in the NFL, some um, just good men, good husbands that's that's taking care of their kids and things of that nature. So in that sense, 
um, I helped thousands and thousands and thousands of kids through the, um, the most high working through me. He blessed me to be able to do that. So I don't, maybe it wasn't meant for me to go that route. So I'll be able to help those kids. Um, and the last thing, do I have some regrets? Uh, yes and no. It would have been kind of dope to see somebody that looked like me that have the same personality as me and see how I would be able to deal with it. Um, I Sometimes I think about who, who, who is going to be there for me when I get older to take care of me and because I didn't have uh, biological kids. And um, just having somebody that you know is yours that with your blood running through. Um, but like I said before earlier, the fact that I was able to be in service for so many other people um, it takes away some of the regrets. So, you know, I hope this message was transparent and vulnerable enough to be able to touch somebody out there. This brother Mike. Enjoy the rest of your day. Shalom.